Everyone has that cousin or that aunt or that nephew, the one who just can't wait for Christmas to open a present. And they beg and they cajole and they plead and they do everything they can to get an early present. Or they're the giver who can't wait for you to open it. They're like, oh, just do it now, just do it now. I, I might not be here, just do it now. That person, yeah. Well, guess what? <laughs> I didn't know it, but it happens with books too. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about it. October 17th. Now, that's not just my number six daughter's birthday. It was also supposed to be the release day for a collection I'm in, um, Wonderland Wishes. Seven brand spanking new novellas in this collection. We're talking super cool books. I've been reading the blurbs and little bits from the thing and I'm all, I was all excited for this release. I have blog posts lined up from the authors. I have a video tra a book trailer coming out. I've got it all. I'm so excited about this set. I can't tell you, I can't stand it. It's driving me crazy. And apparently I'm not the only one because this collection isn't coming out on October 17th. No, 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 no. It came out now, today. Like, it happened last night. She said, hey, we're all done, we're all ready, why not now? And of course, we're all going, yeah, 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 let's do this. And I'm thinking, man, is there something funny here or what? Because I mean, is this like not Christmas? This is what Christmas happens, it happens every, every year, right? There's always that person that's like, oh, I can't wait. Let's just do one present on Christmas Adam. And then we can do one on Christmas Eve, and then we can do one, right? I mean, there's always that person, right? Well, this whole collection is that person. It said, eh, let's not wait. So we have seven books for you, seven. Super cool. We have Lynette Bonner, and hers is Kittens and Snow Flurries. And it's the third book in the um, Hearts of Hollywood, I think it's called. Super excited to read this book. We, she's, we're, we're, we're talking about a Hollywood gal right out of rehab and kittens and Christmas. Now, if that's not an unusual combination, I don't know what, and I think it's gonna be super cool. Then we have Jan Klein's Finding Christmas in You, and who doesn't love kind of a little um, mini mystery with someone who can't quite remember something she should. So that's gonna be super cool. Then we have Kathleen Freeman's um, it's Once Upon a Christmas Star, and hers is kind of a Gift of the Magi retelling with a girl and her father, and it just sounds fabulous. I can't wait to read it. It's the one I'm probably most excited about right now as I'm working on the trailer, because I'm like having to rush now, right? <laughs> and I keep seeing these little, I'm like, ah! So anywho, there's that one. Dory Harrell, it's her debut novella, and hers is about, all, all I can tell you, because I don't want to give too much away, all I can tell you is there are twin alpacas, they're called, or creas or something, they're twins, and I guess that's very unusual, and um, included in her story is a pattern, so you can knit the hat that the, the model on the cover is wearing. I mean, how cool is that? You can get a hat from the book. You get a free hat pattern. This is awesome, right? And um, Dory Harrell's debut novel is A Christmas Hallelujah. Next up is mine. Mine is The Second Noel. And if you read A Bird Died, it is about um, one of the, the Homestead daughters, it's about Brianne, remember her and the fireman? Well, they're back and there's another fundraiser. There's a little boy who needs a diabetic alert dog and they're determined to get it no matter what. People who love Neil Kirkpatrick, you're gonna wanna read this one because he's back and he's hilarious. I had so much fun with him. I really liked that guy. I never thought I would. I hated him for a long time, now I like him. Next up is Leslie Ann McDaniel, and Leslie Ann McDaniel's book is um, Home for the Holidays, and yeah, she kind of likes this guy, and well, anyone can prevent, pretend to be churchy enough, right? Yeah, I loved that. I saw that and I was like, oh, that is hilarious. 
Next up is Sylvia Stewart with Montana Sky, and it takes, it sounds like it takes place partly in a cafe. Nice little flirty cowboy, I mean, come on. Cowboys and Christmas, what more can you ask for, right? So, seven brand new novellas. You gotta, you gotta get this set. It's only 99 cents if you have Kindle Unlimited, it's free. Just go read them, and hey, just a note, we would absolutely love it if you read it. Please leave a review. Doesn't have to be long, just a couple of lines even. Just something that says, hey, this is why we, I like it and this is who I recommend it for. That's all you need. We would so appreciate it. Anyway, it's available. There's a link in the description and you go and have a great day. Bye.